calling his new stadium exciting and magical, but tonight, a growing number of once loyal fans are using different words to describe ticket prices, words like outrageous and forget it. Early indications are that Jones may be paying the price. Who's next for a chip man? I'll get the tail, bro. Sean and Gloria, tomorrow is the announced deadline for Cowboys season ticket holders to commit to buying club-level seats in the new stadium. But News 8 has learned that the Cowboys are extending that deadline, and despite their claims, the 15,000 club seat-level seats may not be selling as well as they had hoped, and Jones may be experiencing a backlash. Tonight, News 8 investigates. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones calls it architecturally significant, one of the most visible buildings in the world. A $1 billion price tag, not only the finest sports venue ever built, but much more. This building's about the future. It's about the role of technology in sports. It's about the role of mediums in sports. Exciting to imagine. Magnificent to watch being crafted, but fans are starting to fear they will never be able to afford it. The lower level club seats, end zone to end zone, all cost $340 per ticket, compared to the current $129 price tag at Texas Stadium. But before you can buy a luxury seat, you have to purchase a personal seat license, and they start at $16,000 and go up to $35, to $50, to $100, as high as $150,000 by far and away the most expensive PSL in the NFL, and not by just a little. Currently, the most expensive seat license is at the Carolina Panthers Stadium, priced at $12,000. Having trouble coming up with the cash? That's okay, because the Cowboys will finance it at 8% interest. <laughs> I just no way. No thanks, says jewelry store owner Morse Hassan of Dallas. In my office, I have, of course, a jersey, two Super Bowl posters, of course, the football. He's a 15-year season ticket holder who lives for the boys, even drives his cowboy silver and blue Lincoln to every game. It's my cowboy car. He planned to buy seats in the new stadium until he saw the price tag. $32,000 just for seat licenses, nearly $7,000 a year for tickets, and $750 a year for parking. He says Jones is courting the wealthy. And the rest, uh, he can care about us. I, I don't think he really... He, it's strictly a business. You know, football should be something that, that the average guy can go to. And uh, they priced him out. Current season ticket holder Brian Glasscock predicts fellow tailgaters will become extinct. But they won't be able to afford it. There's no way. There's absolutely no way to afford it. Jerry Jones is behaving in a way that's predictable economically. Robert Body of Lake Forest, Illinois, is one of the most respected sports economists in the country. He says Jones, a gambler by reputation, may be taking his biggest risk yet. And so Jerry Jones is not only um, risking alienation of fans in Dallas, which he, I'm sure he is with these prices, but he's also risking, I think, um, uh, other NFL owners. Owners whose modest stadium and team revenues can't begin to keep up with the Joneses. Quite a place, isn't it? So how does Jerry Jones respond? We don't know. He wouldn't talk to us. We'll be able to enter the building from the plazas. The Cowboys marketing vice president, Greg McElroy, did. Did you expect such a negative reaction? So far, we haven't seen a negative reaction. That's right. McElroy says club seat sales are robust. He says 70% of those who hear the sales pitch at the stadium marketing center in Arlington have bought a PSL. But what does that mean? How many have come down and gone through sales presentations? Uh, I don't have the exact number for you yet, but uh, they have to do it before February 1st, so uh, a, good no a good number of them have. Can you give me a ballpark? No. The number of appointments we've done? Yeah. Uh, I don't have that exact number right, right handy, but I know the main number is that 70% of the people that have are buying. News 8 has learned that as of one week ago, that 70% number cited by the Cowboys translates to less than 1,800 seats sold. The February 1st deadline to buy those seats has also been extended.